So today's video is, uh, these are favorites that I get asked questions all the time about uh, protein powders, uh, exercise pans, exercise tops, sneakers, uh, and so on. So, so I thought I would just share a few of those favorites in today's video. So first up, I wanted to share something uh, of Louis. Uh, I bought these for Lou uh, during the Nordstrom sale, and I didn't know if he was going to like them or not, but I liked them. I thought they were very nice, casual shoes, and they looked very comfortable. And little did I know he was going to really like them, so for his birthday, which is September 23rd, I bought him the other colors that are available. Um, but don't tell him, okay? Okay, our secret. Uh, but anyway, he ended up really loving them, and I didn't know men would do this, but when he wears them, men actually say, hey, Lou, I really like those shoes. What are they, Johnston Murphys? And no, they're not. They are Cole Hans, and they almost look like a sneaker, but they are just a very casual shoe. They are mesh all on the top, they do have uh, some leather on, you know, around the back. A nice, good sole, which I think is very important for walking. And um, he puts an insert in them. He actually has it in here, and he really likes these shoes. And um, I, you know, for a man's shoe, a well-made shoe, they're not that expensive. So I thought I would share them just in case you have a man in your life that is looking, and he needed a lighter pair, pair to wear with like tan shoes and stuff. Uh, I think the same rule follows for men. You know, try to make it, I don't think they should wear like tan pants and black shoes. I think they should have color coordination. That's just my rule, nobody else's. Uh, but anyway, I uh, really like them. And the thing about them is that they really aren't sneakers. They are slip-in shoes. This really serves no purpose here other than um, looks. But they're really nice, so I got them, I think I bought them in the, I think there was like a gray, one color was sold out in his size, so I got him two other pair, and I will give them to him on his birthday. So these are from Cole Hahn, Louis' favorites. Okay, so, thought, so next I get asked about exercise pants. What are my favorite exercise pants? I no. used to get them at Marshalls and TJ Maxx and never paid more than $14.99 for them. Everything about them was perfect. They had great you know, give, and but yet they held you in. The fabric felt really luxurious, and they had an elastic around the ba waist. I don't like uh, exercise pants that don't have an elastic in them. I think they, I don't know, they just don't stay comfortable for me. I like them to have an elastic. And um, they had an assortment of colors, which I like. And I will get loud, get loud with my exercise pants. But anyway... So uh, I can't find them anymore. They don't have any more of them. So I've been forced to purchase others. So during the Nordstrom sale, I did buy the um, Zella, and these are the Lux. And they do feel different. And I think Zella has, some of them are basically for wearing every day and out and about, where these are specifically for workout but many women wear them out and about. But anyway, uh, this is a purple pair that I bought. And these, these do have a pocket on the side. Some of them do, some of them don't. This is what they look like in the back. Uh, very important that the crotch has that little diamond shape into it that prevents it from really riding up and uh, any camels visiting. So, uh, and you know what I mean, ladies. But uh, these are nice. Now these go uh, to my ankle. Uh, but some of them only go just below the knee, three quarters. So that all depends on, you know, whether you like them longer or to your knees. You know, if you have short legs, sometimes buying the longer ones will help your legs look a little bit longer. But I don't really care about that. So I just get whatever colors I like. And that if they have the elastic around the waist, which these do, the pocket is nice to have. A lot of people put their phone in there. I don't really put anything in my pockets when I'm working out. But I uh, really do like these. And um, I'm going to go down and record a separate little segment to add in here. Uh, I bought this really great hanging uh, unit for my exercise pants because I have so many of them, they were taking up drawer space, which is very limited for me. And I just roll them up in a ball and slide them into this unit, which I will insert right here and link below for you. Really, really nice. I bought one for my handbags and um, 
my exercise, and I thought I purchased one other one, but I can't remember. Getting back to the exercise pans, here's another pair of the Zella. And what's nice about what I'm showing you is some of these are on sale right now. So go to the links and check them out. But this is just a deeper purple. Now this is a shorter length. It doesn't go to my ankle, but the colors are just fabulous. Exact same pants, but the fabric is really beautiful. Uh, and they were not, they were not expensive. Um, more than $14.99, but not the Lululemon price. I don't own a pair of Lululemons. I tried them once, and first of all, I thought they were a ridiculous price for exercise pants, but I know women wear them as outfits now, and they like the way their butts look in them. I didn't think it did anything um, different. I, my butt still look like a pancake. But anyway, right, next up is from Zella, and this is a shirt. I like my exercise shirts to be loose, and I like them to be longer. I like to cover up the privates. I don't wear waist length shirts and that are fitted or showing my belly button or anything like that. They're all loose and flowy. And that's what many of you have commented on, that that's what you like as well. So, so this is from Zella. And I did buy this from Nordstrom during the sale. But they are on sale now. Of course, it depends on the color you get. But these are really comfortable. They wash nicely and uh, they don't shrink at all. They wick moisture away. And I just really, really do like them. So I got a couple of colors in that. And the other brand I get from Dick's Sporting Good. And this is that DSG brand. And I have these all in different colors. And see how it has a nice soft flow to it. And they are long. See how it's a little longer in the back? They cover everything, my friends. Again, these wash up really well. I got the medium in all of them. I could have gotten the small, but I like my exercise tops to have a flow to them. So I always, well, I've always been a medium, but with my weight loss, I could wear small, but I still get the medium. And uh, they look okay. Nobody's saying to me, hey, lady, you need to get the small. <laughs> Uh, I get asked about my sneakers all the time. Now, there is only one brand of sneakers that I will wear anymore, and I have tried them all. I've had surgery in both of my feet. I actually have pins still in my left foot. So my feet are sensitive, and um, I know when I'm trying out a sneaker if it's going to work for me. And I have always purchased... Well, I used to buy Asics, and then they changed their style. Nike doesn't work for me. Um, none of the other ones work for me. New Balance. New Balance to me is a very stiff sneaker, so I didn't like it. Uh, Nike, the arch never really lays in the right way for me, and they're a little too narrow. Uh, I even bought Hulk, Hoka or Haka, Hoka. Um, they're actually okay, a little narrow in the toe bed, but that rubber is so bulky on them that I find I trip a little bit in them. So I just went back to my Brooks. My Brooks I love, and I've always worn the Ghost, but it's becoming a little bit harder to find. Uh, so I tried the Adrenaline, which to me is identical to the Ghost. I don't even know what the difference is. But I bought three pair uh, just a couple of months ago. And uh, I have them in a light gray and purple. This one I have them in a navy and pink and then I have them in a white with purple and pink in them uh, but anyway I really love them I wear one pair specifically for walking and the others are for the gym that reason for that is sometimes I'm walking my dog and if I step in dog poop I don't want to take that into the house or in the gym so uh, these are specifically for the gym my white my pair used to be for the gym now I walk in those outside and I wear the navy ones uh, in the gym um, and I just like to have a couple pair of sneakers. I don't need a couple pair, but I like to have a couple pair, so I do. But I highly recommend this brand. And if you have a wide foot, you can buy these in wide. All the colors are not available in wide, but you can get them in wide, which is how I started onto the brand. Uh, another thing I get asked every time I play, put a picture and I have these on, what are those things on your arm? What do you use them for? I've talked about these several times in my videos, but I have a lot of new subscribers and welcome to all of you. Uh, love having you here in my beautiful community. Uh, these are the Doc Miller arm compression bands. I've tried others. 
Don't waste your money. These are the best, and I wear two on each arm because that's how bad my tendonitis. I have tennis elbow and golf elbow, so I have top and bottom. I've been to physical therapist. I've had all the shots. Nothing, nothing has ever helped me. So I invested in the bands. I started out in the mediums, and now I wear the small. It's very important to measure your arm so you know what you need. There's a chart online when you order them. These are not very expensive. They come in a couple of different colors. Uh, I have them in all of them. I won't even clean without these on. If I did not wear these, I would not be able to lift weights at all. I would be in excruciating pain. So when I put these on, I just slip one inside of the other. This part goes here. So when you're putting them on, you pull them on this way. This should be in the palm of your hand. You yank them up. And then what I do is once it's around the elbow area, I just kind of pull it out so that everything adjusts perfectly and it really grips all around the elbow area. Worth every penny you will spend if you are someone who suffers from tendonitis. I love them. Love them. All right, I posted a picture of myself in one of these the other day. Walking the dogs here or just walking. The sun is intense. And, and I needed to protect the halo because the sun, the environment outside, will yellow white hair. Uh, and the old hair on my head cannot take any more sun. So I, uh, but there are times I want to wear a ponytail, okay? Because I don't like to wear my hair down when I'm walking because I don't want it hanging on my neck while I'm sweating and it just drives me nuts. So I wanted a hat. And if I wear my regular little hairdo that I wear, my hats don't fit. So I needed one with a little ponytail hold so I can pull my hair down and put the bun out there. So when I'm wearing this hat, I also like, I'll just put it on for you here, that this, if I press this, I can also pull this tighter because sometimes when I'm out walking the girls just before a rainstorm, the wind kicks up and blows my hat off. So this holds my hat in place. Normally, if it's just a normal day, I don't need to uh, worry about it. And then this, you just push this and it'll come back down here. But when you want, when you're getting ready to go out and about, let me just put my hair up for you so I'll show you. And I may as well mention these. These are my favorite ponytail holders. These are my scrunchies. These are from Silk and Pure. They're 100% mulberry silk. Uh, I love this brand. There's something about the elastic that lasts better in these than other brands that I've had. And of course, they're silk. I have them in all colors and absolutely love them. So if I'm getting ready to take one of the dogs out, I'll just pull my hair back and I will put it in a half bun, whatever. I just pull the hair through like that. I will take my hat and I will take the ponytail here and I just reach through, pull it out and I have my little ponytail and I'll just tighten this up here. I usually have just like a little bun going on just like that and I have my hat and I'm good to go. And the brim is nice and wide, so it's protecting my face, my neck, and even parts of my shoulder from the sun. And if I want to look like Gilligan, I can just wear it like that. <laughs> I think you can even snap these up. Yeah, you can if you're really... You can flip the sides up, which I would never do, my friends. But, and they wash nicely, just follow the directions and uh, they have SPF in them. So I love it. I have it in a red. This is uh, black, I believe. I think this is black, gray, and red. Same thing. They're called sunshade and just really, really nice. They're breathable. Uh, my head doesn't get super hot with them. Absolutely love, love, love these. Yeah. And I'm probably going to get more colors. Yes, I probably will. I love my silk scrunchies. Okay, so the um, earrings I'm wearing. I, I have to mention them. They're from Dean Davidson. I, I love pearls. But there's something about the halo and my pearls. I absolutely love them. They are such a nice size. They lay on the ear so nicely. I just 
love this. And another thing that I wanted to make mention, I have the whole set. I have the ring with this as well, and I just love it. I, I love wearing all black with it, all white with it, or I would just wear all, you know, if I could find a pair of slacks in this color, I, I very much love that. And then just to put these pearls on would be beautiful. But I'm finding that I have a hard time clasping bracelets uh, on myself as I get older. Uh, so I love that Dean has elastic bracelets that you can just slide on and you're good to go and you don't need to worry about it. And I do want to say this is the new one from his form collection, this green stone. It has a nice little gold bead here. And then this is from the rose quartz collection that I've had for a while. And this ring is part of the form collection. It's uh, from his travels from Paris. It's just beautiful. I love it. And these earrings were part of the form, and they're just a smaller version of the pearl. I think they're beautiful. And I also wanted to make mention that I've really been enjoying the smaller plaza ring. And I think this is perfect for a smaller hand, a petite woman, or, or a smaller jump. ring. I just think it looks so pretty on, and it sits low and flat. Just really pretty. So these have been some of my favorite Dean Davidson pieces. So I always get asked questions about protein powders, um, snacks I eat, uh, food. I get asked about my weight loss, my diet. And, and if you follow me on Instagram, I try to put out little desserts or snacks that I do enjoy. I gave up nothing to lose weight, my friends, except for calories. That is all I gave up. I gave up nothing in the way of flavor or foods I enjoyed. But with that being said, uh, I do have some stomach issues that uh, I've always had. And from time to time, they flare up. And as I uh, try different foods or you know maybe some of these different sugar alcohols, I realize that my body cannot, I just can't do it. I don't do well with an excessive amount of monk fruits or erythritol, sucralose, aspartame. I, uh, even stevia gets me sometimes. But if I do everything in a very small, in small increments, I do better with them. So I, I really started to research some of these things and I, I wanted to know which were the worst for a condition called SIBO, which I get from time to time. And it's uncomfortable, it's embarrassing, it's painful. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I know what it is and I know how to take care of it. So um, I, even though sucralose does not really upset my belly, it is causing a problem with bacteria. So I have learned that I have to really uh, be careful of sugar substitutes and alcohols. And uh, I, I know people will say to me, you should use vegan. Vegan protein powders do nothing for me. If they work for you, that is fabulous. They taste terrible. I have wasted so much money on them. They don't blend in a way that I enjoy. Um, and most of them have stevia, a lot of stevia in them, and I do not necessarily care for stevia. Even though I like it, if it's in a product and it's just a small amount, I, it's okay. But because this peanut butter I use, this nut butter, has a very small amount of stevia in it, I, I don't even detect it. So it's okay for me, but others I don't. Anyway, long story short, I needed to change my protein powder because the one that I love has sucralose as the last ingredient, but it's still there. So I had to change it. So I uh, found this one and it's called Clean Simple Eats. I'm gonna insert this little clip here to let you see that I really do love it. No stomach issues. My uh, SIBO is clearing up. This is sweetened with a um, little bit, the last ingredient is monk fruit, very small amount, and a little bit of stevia, but the main sweetener in it is xylitol. Now be very careful if you are someone that tries this and you have animals. No licking your bowl, no, oh, I left the package down, my dog got it. It'll kill your dog. Don't let your dog get near your protein powder or your bowls or have a lick off your spoon, nothing, okay? With that being said, this is fabulous. Now this is their pumpkin pie. 
Um, I don't really use this for a smoothie. I use it for my Ninja ice cream. I make a Ninja ice cream to have as dessert every single day. And I don't put any funky stuff in it. I just do my protein powder and a milk source. And then I do my add-ins. And my add-ins sometimes will be an Oreo cookie. It'll sometimes be, uh, like last night I made one, it was a churro. So I did uh, vanilla powder, protein powder. No, I did a cinnamon snickerdoodle protein powder, uh, milk, and uh, it, it can, it's a plant milk. Uh, it's almond milk or milk, it's called. And um, then I took uh, that Siete has a chip called Churro. Took some of those chips and put it in there. And then I found a brand of uh, cookies that is gluten-free and has nothing, not, no funky garbage in it. And one of those went in there, and that was my mix-in. Phenomenal, my friends. It was so good, so good. The whole pint is like less than 300 calories. And see, I'm not gonna give that up. All I need to do is my calories have to stay in line to stay in maintenance. So um, anyway, uh, that Ninja Creamy, mm, she's good if you really wanna experiment. But anyway, I got this in every flavor and I love it. So for and this uh, protein, there is 34 grams of serving, 100 calories, five grams of carb, there are four sugar alcohols added here, uh, 160 milligrams of sodium. I try to watch my sodium too because I'm a salt shaker glover. Uh, if you're somebody who follows Bobby, he's not gonna like this because it says natural flavors. But I have found this has been a really easy protein powder for me to digest. And uh, it's not creating any IBS problems for me. Let's just put it that way. Uh, and the way I started with this, and I would highly recommend, you can buy individual packs or you can buy a multi-pack, and that's what I did. Like, I haven't tried the peaches and cream yet, so I bought the peaches and cream when I placed my order for my large bags. The mint chocolate chip, the large bag I would have ordered, it's out of stock, and I would order definitely the large bag of the key lime pie, but it's out of stock. So I'm on the mailing list to see if it comes back, uh, but the mint chocolate chip makes a beautiful ninja, uh, ninja creamy. And then the white chocolate peppermint, uh, I ordered a small, and and I've yet to try it in an ice cream, but when I do, uh, I may end up ordering the whole full bag if I like it. Last but not least, uh, peanut butters. Now, every day I have a yogurt bowl. It has tons of fruit on it and a little bit of granola, always measured. Everything that goes in my mouth is measured and weighed on that scale. And I think I'm going to do a video on that because, you know, we think, oh, serving size scoop. Okay, we're going to do that. But if you actually measured it out, you could almost have a serving and a half, which is gonna bump your calories up for whatever you're putting something into. So for this, I have, depending on my calories that are allowed for the day, and I'm, I'm right at about 21, 2200 calories. So if I have, you know, after I've eaten dinner, I have 500 calories left, I'll bump up something uh, as far as, uh, like if I'm having an ice cream and I want a little bit of uh, peanut butter over it, I'll have the whole serving because I know I have 500 and some odd calories left. So you really do have to track. It's very important. Tracking is important. All right, so uh, these nut butters. Now I have ordered from Nerdy Nuts, but these, my doodles, they decided to come and visit. Um, the, the American Dream nut butters, mm. I haven't had one except for there was a harvest one at last fall. I didn't like that one, it was too spicy. But I'm telling you, there's not a flavor that I haven't ordered that I have not simply adored. The blueberry cheesecake, oh my goodness. Blueberry, crumb, uh, blueberry brunch, oh my goodness. At Christmas last year I ordered uh, peppermint chocolate, dark chocolate, oh so good. And the pumpkin crumb donut is fabulous. I haven't tried the big apple yet, but like I said, not one. I don't have a code for you, but I did email the company and ask them if they had some sort of uh, program or something that I could uh, get a code for my subscribers. And if I get it, it'll be down below. I haven't heard from the company yet. They don't know who I am. They don't send me peanut butters to taste on air, but if they want to, I will. If not, I will continue to buy them. I have probably purchased 30 jars. 
And I love it. Every, every day. Every day I put it in my yogurt, either a half serving or full serving, depending on the calories that I am going to consume for the day. And that's all in what I, let me just show it to you. Look at that. Oh, she purdy. This is the pumpkin crumb donut. When you get it, it's all crumbs on top and it's like a crispy layer. But when I, the way I like to do it, now this is the cashew butter. I find I like their cashew butters best. I take my blender or my mixer, my hand mixer. I put one of the little prongs in and I hang onto this jar for dear life and I mix it up with my blender and you get this beautiful creamy cashew butter. And this has, let me just take a little taste. Mmm. Oh. Mm-mm-mm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. It's, it tastes just like a pumpkin crumb donut. It is so good. And these have lower carb, higher protein, lower sugar in them. 160 calories per serving. I usually have half a serving a day. So I cut the set. It's 80 calories for me. 10 grams of carb. I don't count carbs. I'm not a low carb eater, but it does give me five carbs if I have half. And then it'll give me what? Three, four, yeah, four, gra four grams of protein and less than two grams of sugar because I'm having half. I'm telling you, they are beautiful. This and one I haven't opened yet. To even look at but I'm gonna open it just so you can see what they look like when they come to you they come with a seal on them but look at that it's got looks like white chocolate chips in there oh my goodness it smells fabulous but see it's got all the chips and stuff laying on top and I'll just blend it mmm beautiful my friends beautiful hopefully they'll read my little email that I sent them and give us a code why not all right, my friends, so that is it for this favorites. Uh, let me know if you like the way I separate, you know, skincare and so on, and then do maybe like, you know, feature some foods and snacks and stuff that I'm enjoying. It's all what you want. All right, my friends, so let me know. And if you Love haven't you. already subscribed, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. Hit the subscribe button right next to Isabel. Notifies you of all the videos that I'm putting up. Until the next time, my friends, go out in the world, be lovable, and remember, it is okay to love your age. I love you all. Bisous.